All right, so everybody has their own way of uh, rolling a wick, building a coil, and getting a Genesis going. Um, I've had several requests for how I go about doing it. Um, I've got a lot of Genesis atomizers, so um, today's video, I'm gonna go through rolling a mesh wick, oxidizing the wick, building a coil, um, working on the hot spot, setting a layer of carbon underneath the coil, and then uh, having a vape. So here we go. To start, I don't cut near as large of a piece of mesh as uh, some others do. I don't particularly like a very dense wick. I, uh, I have found that, it, for me, it wicks better if I have a bit more of a hollow wick. So um, I generally try to start with a pretty thin piece of wick. And I'm going to put this on a Hellfire Mini. And it, it actually has a pretty small wick hole too. I think probably a 2 millimeter wick hole. So I just start by, you know, kind of rolling it upon itself here. And then and I just kind of work my way down. And continue to work my way down. This isn't a, for me a very long process. Work my way down. My wife is very proficient at rolling wicks. Actually, now most of the time, my uh, when I have a wick needing done, my uh, my wife actually rolls it. So I mean, anybody can do this. Now I'm not trying to get an extremely dense wick here. Just uh, just enough to go down in the hole. further I'm going to take take note of where that's all the way down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and trim it off a little tall to give myself some room to give myself some room here at the top to kind of know where, where it's not touching because I do it a little different I don't oxidize the whole wick I, I know I'm not going to push it all the way down to touching the bottom so I'm actually only going to oxidize about this much of the wick because there's no need to oxidize what's, what's actually down in the tank. So to start, I'm just going to kind of grab my tweezers here. I'm going to set it on fire. Now once it's it's glowing all the way one time, I take my juice. By the way, this is Zombie Apocalypse version two from uh, my good friend Nicole over at Alice in Vape Land. So I'm gonna. I want you to even have to use tweezers. I just use tweezers whenever I'm setting the juice on fire. Okay. Grab it with my tweezers and burn that juice off. And 
and we're gonna glow the glow it again. And you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on a butane torch. I do have one, but I would say nine out of nine times out of ten when I'm rolling a wick, I just grab a cigarette lighter and go for it. Pretty simple process. And this is the last one that we'll do. So third time is the charm. Third time is the charm. You know, I hear people doing this 12 times. You know, you could get by with two. So uh, you know, definitely three is enough. Drop the juice. We'll burn that off one more time. And now she's ready to go into the tank. So from there, it's pretty well just as simple as take it, slide it down in the tank. Now, I don't know if you can actually see down in that tank, but you can see actually where the oxidation stops about halfway down that tank. Now that's touching, so like I said, I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit so that I know the unoxidized portion of it is not touching the bottom of this tank. So from there, I'm just gonna take my bit of wire. Now I like to, uh, to take it and kind of hook it there where I'm gonna start my wrap. Take my flathead back the negative post out just a bit I'm going to take that where I've got it hooked around and I'm going to start that first coil okay starting that first coil before I ever even tighten it down okay now that I've got that first coil started I'm going to go ahead and take this and screw it down I'm going to start wrapping. Now I'm going to do a, a 3 4 wrap here. I just take it, push it down, wrap around, push it down, wrap around, push it down, wrap around. And this time, I'm going to go back around this positive post and lock it in. I'm going to trim off my excess. With his baby scissors that he found in his first trip ever to Hancock Fabric. Now I'm just going to even my coils out. Those look pretty even. Okay, I put it on my mod. Not putting juice on it yet. I want to make sure all the coils are glowing together before I fingerprint magnet on my Caravella. Now, we want all these glowing together. Okay, got a hot spot there at the top. So, to work out a hot spot, what I do is at first I just kind of Kind of do a lifty wobbly and make sure the coils are loose on the on the deal there. Make sure nothing's touching. Still got a hot spot. Now this is this is just how you work out a hot spot. You just 
kind of there we go whoop still hot now I like to uh, you know I kind of push it against it it's getting better getting better I mean you could do it with the Allen screw with the uh, flathead I've just gotten accustomed to doing it with my fingernails but look at that it's getting there it's getting there that's it so now I don't have a hot spot I don't really see a reason to trim that wick anymore but we'll just just for sake of being pretty we'll do that okay now I'll go ahead and put a couple drops of juice on it see if I've got a hot spot firing which I don't appear to Now I'll burn it a few times like this. I'll put a couple of drops on it. What I'm doing now is I'm, I'm building a layer of carbon underneath the coil. I don't have a hot spot. Um, because all the coils are glowing uniformly. So now I'm just kind of setting a layer of carbon under them coils. thing left to do now is put some, fill it up with juice and vape it so we'll be right back so that's how I do it um, first I wrap the mesh or roll the mesh then I oxidize the wick I don't oxidize the entire wick because I don't see a point in it um, the, the less oxidized mesh that I have down in my uh, my tank I think the better it improves the flavor because you don't have anything I don't know coming off the wick into the into the tank so that's just how I do it. Um, we're gonna have, I've, I've taken one vape off of this since I rolled that coil. Um, no hot spot and doing great. So uh, this is how she goes. It's a great vape. It's a great coil. Again, that's how I do it. Now, if you get a hot spot, what you do is you just pop it off. If you end up getting a hot spot, what I normally do is I just take take the uh, the lid off and I'll fiddle it, you know, just kind of up and down, adjust that top coil. I'll push my wick into that top coil. Generally, it'll work out. Right now, no hot spots. Firing like a dream. But if you do get a hot spot, I hope this video did help you. Um, you know, just kind of, you know, fiddle it. Take that top coil. You know, I'd, I'll adjust it with my, my fingernail. A little warm there. I'll, uh, I'll lift the wick in and out and up and down and work it out. And she'll keep going. So, again, there are many ways to do it. That's just how I did it, do it. I hope this helps. And uh, be strong, vape on. See you again next time.